What's up everybody, so today we're gonna go play some VMK TCG, which is, well, trading card game. So here's how it works, it's kind of similar to Rock, Paper, Scissors. Magic spell, which in this case is teleportation, that's the only magic spell I have, beats out pins. Pins beats out furniture, furniture beats out rooms, and rooms beats out magic. In order to play you need two people minimum, and you have four of each, so in my case I have four furnitures, four pins, four magic, and four rooms. And then you pick a card, you play it, and if your card wins, you take that card, put it in your own prize pile, you get points based off the number of cards, so whoever has the most at the end wins. Let's say two people play teleportation, or just in general play the same card, it goes to the discard pile, just put that wherever you want, and nobody gets that card. Nobody gets any points for that. Now if people play the opposite card, let's say I play a pin and somebody else plays a room, then you keep it there for the next turn. So then if I win, I take those two cards on top of whatever I win. But let's say again, two people play a magic spell, then it doesn't count for anything. It goes to this card, including the other two cards. Okay, so we're gonna go play a practice round. So I'm playing against my sister. So we're gonna start. And I have it behind a wooden board. You could use whatever you want to just kind of block out the other person so you don't see their cards, they don't see your cards. And then we're going to put in the middle so you could see. So I'm just going to pick one, start off with this one, not showing her, but showing you guys. And we'll start and ready, set, go. So I played Tomorrowland, or so I played a Magic and she played a Furniture. And if you remember, or as shown in the top, that neither of these really go with each other, so now we have to do a tiebreaker. So whoever wins the next one gets those two on top of it. So let's see, I want to win it, so I'm just going to try to do this, see what she does. So ready, set, go. So once again, <laughs> once again, nobody wins that one, so that's a little unfortunate. But, okay, so right now I've already played Magic, and I've already played a pin, but... I think I'm gonna do this card. See if this works. So ready? Three, two, one, go. So she plays a room and I play a magic and rooms beat magic so she gets all six cards. So she just puts it to her side. So once I get a card I'll put it right here. But she gets all those cards. So let me pick another one. Let's do this one. Ready? Set. Go. Furniture and magic so we have another stalemate so we're gonna do tiebreaker ready set go oh we did the same two pins so instead of anyone getting it it just goes to a discard pile so we just put this to the side nobody gets it so let's do the next one ready set go stalemate again with two rooms so not looking good for me so far let's do the next one ready set go and we got a stalemate ready set Go. I put down a furniture, she puts down a pin, and the pin wins, so she gets more cards. And this is what I have left so far. So you take a recap, I have a few pins left, not much teleportation, lots of rooms, and a few furnitures. So let's go ahead and play one of these down, ready, set, go. So stalemate didn't really match up well so let's do the next tiebreaker ready set go so we both play furniture so once again nobody wins right now I'm at zero and she has a lot more so I have to win everyone out just to have a shot at winning so ready set go and we have a draw so nobody gets it ready set go and we have another tie nobody gets that one so this is not looking good for me right now, unless I win every single one, I can't win. So let's hope this works. Ready, set, go. Ah, another tie. Let's do the next one, I'm only down to three cards. Ready, set, go. And I lose that one. It's not good, let me see if I can even win one. So let's do this, ready, set, go. Finally get a match. Not really a match, but I finally win as my room beats her teleportation, aka magic. So I finally have two cards, but it's the last round. I'm down to one card. Ready, set, go. 
and we both had teleportation. So now we could count our cards as I only have two, so I know I lost, and she has a lot more, so she's counting to see how many she's gonna get. She has 12 cards, so I lose with a score of 12 to two. So that wasn't that pretty. <laughs> um, yeah, but we could play again. And there's other ways you could play this. You could play best out of three, so whoever wins two rounds. Or you could play total score after three. So let's say she gets 12, a 10, and a 10. She'd have 32, while I'd have, let's just say, 17 total. That doesn't make any sense. 18 total. So then she'd win. So overall, it's a pretty fun game. It's kind of random. But if I really wanted to think strategically, I'd be like, okay, if this many cards were played, then I know she only has furniture left. Or I could go on that type of a just checklist, you know, something strategic. So if you ever want to play, just get some of your VMK cards out, have a buddy to play with, or family member, anything. And as always, have a magical day. Click here to see Demo the Disney Kid. You can vote on the next Disney film each week. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for another retro, well, not even retro, just card game. Card game each week. As I play a random card game for fun, hope you enjoy it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like it. Peace.